Hi there, I'm delighted to have you back on my channel once again. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and also like and share this video. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing product promo flyer in Photoshop with no step skip. So you can use this to create flyers for your products, promo and everything and post it on social media. So let's start and see how to create this everything is going to be step by step so first going to create our background in order to do this in photoshop let's go to file and then go to new we're going to set our background to 10 by 10 inches and then the resolution is going to be around 300 our color mode is going to be rgb and then the background is going to be white so then, and click on create so we're going to have our main background so this is going to be the main background of our design so this is going to be a main background you can see i've given some red background to this so in order to do this just just go we'll go to our two layer and then we'll select rectangle we'll just draw it on top of your main background this way and then we'll go to the fill color the option at the top here and then we'll change the background to any reddish background color of our choice we can do modification to this if you want to you can change the background later on but let's stick to this and then you can see the color i'm using it's a bit reddish and if you want to use the same background color i can just go to my color panel select that and then use the eyedropper to, to select the color of my choice and i can copy the color code most of the time that's what i do to copy my color code just copy right click and then copy this color code so if i want to use the same color for this i can just come to my layer panel double click on that and from my layer style just select color overlay and then paste my color code right here so this is going to give me the same background color okay so that's exactly what we want and we want to create this curve shape below this particular background in order to do this we're going to use our pen tool so from the two options select the pen tool okay select your pen tool and then click anywhere at all just click and then drag this way and then go ahead and then come down here and then also drag just move down move it around like this and then just join your shape this way okay i'm going to click on this and it's going to make a selection i actually want this to be on a different background so i'll go to my layer panel click on what new layer and this is going to be on a new background okay so in order to do this i want to fill this with the ash color so go to my color panel select any ash color of my choice okay i'm okay with this just click ok and then in order to fill this place with that ash color press alt delay alt plus delete on your keyboard and it's going to fill it with this ash color press ctrl d to deselect that so if you compare this to our main background you can see we now have what our ash color on top of this so we need to bring our shape that is the so far we need to bring it on top of this that's our image and then have this image here you can download this image from online okay so i have this on my desktop so i'm going to look for that image and i think i have it here and then i'll drag it to photoshop so i'll drag this to photoshop and i can use this straightforward because i have a white layer around it i need to make the background transparent so i can get just the sofa okay you can search for png image mostly you get them without a background okay so since i have a white background around this i can remove that by going to my two panel and select quick selection just click on my white background it's going to select it this way or you can just use the magic one too when you click it's going to select the entire white background just press delete on your keyboard and it's going to delete the white background press delete control delete to deselect it and then you can use your move tool and then drag it now on top of your shape okay that is our background just drag this and then resize it to the size you want and then just click on the check button over here or press enter on your keyboard to confirm this okay so we now have this we now have this around we now have our shape if you choose to give a shadow to this we cannot close it because we don't need it again remember to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell because i'm going to have amazing tutorial right here on this channel we can give a nice shadow around this just double click and then go to shadow and you can apply a shadow to this you can see you have a shadow to this and it's too much i can reduce the opacity of this shadow you can decide to 
increase the distance also increase the size this way and i believe the size this way is quite better okay so i'm okay with this shadow initial the initial design i've not added any shadow but it's okay to add a shadow this way and we're going to start with our write-up so i need to have sales over here but before you realize i faded part of my background i added some white faded background to my color so in order to do that you need to use the brush and then select any of your brushes by this hardness should be what zero just reduce the hardness to zero and let's put that on a different layer in case we made a mistake we can delete it so i'll come back to my layer click on a new layer increase my brush size press the square bracket the right one to in order to increase and just click on that it's going to add just some slight faded background to your layer if you don't want it or you want to reduce opacity you can do that i want to put this behind my sofa so you can see it's on top of my sofa i'll just drag it below my sofa this way and then reduce opacity a bit so somewhere around 70 yeah i'll reduce it around 70 so can just type the figure there direct so i'm okay with that and then i can go ahead and then start typing so i need to bring my cell so this we're just going to use our horizontal type tool just click on that and then you can type straight over we want everything in caps so make sure your caps is turned on and then we type what seal we want this to be white just select everything and change the color here and then make it pure white just select and then we can increase the size just go and then start dragging on your type to just drag towards the right it's going to increase it okay let's just try and then position this here so we have so if you compare this to what we have i've actually added some shadow to my cells over here you can do that by double clicking on your text and then go to shadow and then you can apply that it's too much the size is too much let's just reduce it and also reduce the distance as well that is okay up to this stage okay what next are we going to do we're going to add a big promo over here and in order to do that it's also going to be the horizontal type to just select that we're going to change the font to calibri that's going to be calibri regular let's undo because we need to first type because it's going to apply to this so let's first type and then we can select our font okay so let me reduce this i'm going to type big we actually make our font cap so let's reduce this so big so this is going to be big promo this way okay so now we can actually go ahead and then change our font so we can go and then select it toward calibri regular just reduce the size a bit and then move the use the move tool and then reposition it i actually had i actually add a rectangle to this we can do that by going to a rectangle to select that and just drag it around this okay and it's going to apply the fill color we don't want the fill color just select that and turn it off and rather turn the stroke on we want white and let's increase the stroke side to somewhere around i think five should be okay okay so that is it we've added our stroke to this okay the next thing we need to do is to also bring this small by here in order to get that we have to use a tool called graphs if you're not getting these graphs here, just go to windows and then search for graphs here and make sure this is enabled okay and it's going to give you amazing shapes from here and this is also going to come from your text in order to use you need to apply text so i'll select this and then just click over here wherever you want your shape to be and then go to your graphs and then start looking for that shapes we have amazing shapes over here you can use and because i've used this previously it's already showing over here but if you want to use any shape you can just move through your list to select that i'll double click on this and then it's going to apply this i want to use a white color and this is actually using a white color i'll just increase the size just like i'm using in the font and that is it i'll just close this and then position it anywhere at all i want compared to this okay and i also want to use this square boxes over here it's also going to be the graphs the same graphs that we're going to use so just go in and select where you want to put it and we're going to change this to let's change this to calibri regular and then we'll go to graphs again 
can see we have several options over here i just still want to use this double click on that and it's going to apply the square boxes just resize it just like you do to your phones and then use your move tool just position it anywhere you want to use it as you can see let's compare to our main design you can position it anywhere you want okay so what next we're going to do we're going to bring this we're going to issue our discount so our discount is going to be 30 percent off in order to do this we're going to use custom shapes so let's go to our shapes and go to custom shapes select that and we have several custom shapes if you don't have this shape you can go online and search and search for photoshop custom shape i have a video on how to download and install custom shapes you can go to my channel and then search for that video so i'll select any custom shape of my choice just select this and i just drag this over here i want to put the right top over here and then i want to fill it with white color so i'll change the gray to white and i use my move tool and then position it where i want so you can compare it to this okay so that is amazing up to this stage and then we can go ahead and type our 30 percent so first going to type our 30 30 this way we want the color to be at the same as the background we don't want to use too many colors on our design so just resize this and then we can go ahead and then position it on top of this it's too much let's just reduce the size a bit and then hit enter and then we can position this anywhere we want and now we're going to type the 30 percent off so going to be percentage and off so let's go ahead and then type that one here so bring up percentage and then we'll go ahead and see what off okay so let's just go ahead and then drag this and then resize let's drag it inside in order to resize this Okay, so let's just confirm this so this is okay up to this stage so we're trying to build this amazing or create this same promo flyer using photoshop we're almost done with this but we need to actually bring this button down your shop now and we can link it to any website of our choice this is just a simple website i'm using over here i don't even know if this exists though but i'm actually putting this to make our design complete so i'm going to just draw a rectangle down here just draw this rectangle down here i'm going to use the same background color this is gray but i've selected you can't see it well but from the layer panel double click on that and then go to my color overlay select that and it's going to use my previous color which is the same as the background color just position it here and i'm going to type what shop now just type anywhere that you can't go ahead and then drag it on top of that so this is supposed to be in caps let me type this shop now it's an apostrophe okay so just resize this let's change this to calibre but it's going to be what bold and let's reduce the size but we need to change the background color to white select this can pick white background this way let's resize this and then we can use the move tool and then position it on top of this okay so let's compare it to our main design you can see okay so we're not going to do the last thing last but one we're going to do the website so let's go use our type tool type it anywhere you can reposition it so let's say www.shop so we want this everything to be in what lowercase so let's say www.shopgh.com okay so this is not going to be bold actually this is going to be just regular and let's reduce the size a bit let's compare the color to what we're going to use so this is pure white i'm going to do the same thing over here let's use this let's move it down here okay we're going to add some vertical spacing to this so go to our shapes that's the characters if you can see the character option just go to windows and then make sure it's enable i can so and can make sure the character is enable and you can see this over here. so just add some vertical spacing to this like this and that is okay if you want to add some shadow just double click on that and then apply some shadow to that okay that is okay let me just reduce the distance a bit and we are good to go so our design is almost set remember to subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial so let's go ahead and then add the final part of this so we're going to put some rectangular border to this 
so go to your shape select rectangle and then just drag this to cover your entire shape this way and is by default it's going to use a fill color let's turn that off and i would rather add a stroke to that so we're going to add a white stroke let's increase the size a bit the size of this white stroke and i think this is okay and then that is good just deselect this and then we need to cut part of this so if you check over here cut part of this stroke off that's the border so in order to remove this particular to apply the settings we first need to rasterize this particular border right click and then go to a rasterize layer just do that and then we can use our right angular marquee to select a portion over there and then press delete on our keyboard and it's going to delete that part okay Control d to deselect it and then our design is finally set if there are other things other information you want to add you can go ahead and add that and as you can see we are set and we've been able to create amazing products flyer which can be posted on social media and other digital platforms okay you can put it on your whatsapp status and all that i'll be creating videos on photoshop everything you need to know every tutorial after effect and other product animation so we can convert this into video format and i'll show you how to do this in another series so remember to subscribe like and share this video with friends so like come your way again bye bye